Outer Banks season four is well on its way to hitting our screens as we're getting very close to the end of production, and that means that there are a lot of hints and teasers that have already been shared by the main cast and crew about what we can expect from this exciting new adventure. The fourth season of the show is looking to be even more action-based and adventurous than ever before as we enter the territory of Blackbeard's gold, something every fan is surely looking forward to as we get to dive into a brand new challenge that is said to mark a fresh start. The news of the fourth season already broke all the way back in February of last year when the show took over Huntington Beach in California for an incredible immersive fan event as they recreated the Pogues Island. The main cast even joined the event as well as Drew Starkey and Austin North who were all there to announce the show would be renewed for a fourth season before season three even aired. This was a huge celebration for fans and the event made it all the more special as the cast got to bond with their adoring fans as they celebrated being united for yet another season, and hopefully even more than that. Things falling into place so early meant that the cast and crew had tons of time to properly prepare for what's to come, proving that the show really is a passion project for everyone involved. In fact, the Pogues have already been back to filming for quite a while now, and they've given us plenty of behind the scenes looks at what we can expect from the new season, even taking us all the way to Morocco, which already paints the picture of a very different season. Netflix has also released an exciting teaser which has given us a look at each of our main characters in preparation for what's to come. After the season three finale, things have certainly heated up as we saw the gang deal with the loss of both Ward and Big John 18 months after finding the gold in El Dorado. But seeing the gang celebrate their wins was still an incredibly wholesome moment for fans who have been following them for so long, especially after all the hardships they endured to finally get there. Even co-creator Shannon Burke spoke about how important it was for there to be a light at the end of the tunnel as they couldn't completely lose the third season. Josh Paid also commented on it saying, we knew we needed to give them a win, but it ended up being a complicated one. We wanted the audience to feel that they had accomplished something and that it wasn't all for nothing. Thankfully, it seems like they did a very good job at that as fans were able to hold on to the knowledge that things have worked out despite all the pain, all while waiting for the fourth season, which will plunge the gang right back into the high stakes adventure mode we're so used to seeing. We've also got a very good idea of who exactly will be joining us this upcoming season, as it's clear that the entire main cast is back on set, as well as Fiona Palomo, who will be returning as Sophia, as she has officially been upgraded to a series regular, something which fans will surely be more than happy to hear. Jonathan Davis has even hinted at some possible developments in the gang dynamics as we enter this new exciting season, and it sounds like we might be focusing on where exactly things stand between all of them after everything that happened, especially with such a big time jump. Jonathan speculated on all of this, saying there's no way they're not treasure hunting, so how does that play into all of this? How is his relationship with JJ and Kiara now? Is that different? Is his relationship with John B different? They're all still friends, but it has been a year. So I'm interested to see what all those interpersonal dynamics are. Of course, with the loss of Ward and Big John, it's unlikely that we'll be seeing Charles Eston and Charles Halford return to the set. However, that doesn't mean we are done with their characters as there are plenty of things left to explore in the aftermath of their departures. Drew Starkey talked all about how he thinks Rafe will deal with the loss of his father since this is such new territory for him, something he has never really had to consider before. It's interesting because he's already made the conscious decision to go into these uncharted waters of independence this season. The first two seasons, you've seen him holding on to this dependency from his family and his father, and then this season, he allows himself to break free of that. He also went on to speculate that Rafe could go either way with the way he feels at the moment, as it wouldn't be out of character for him to embrace this new path in life and move forward, but it would also be completely within the realm of possibilities to take a more aggressive route and let his negative emotions get the better of him despite his feelings for his father. However, with the loss of a few characters, the show is ready to bring in some exciting new faces as a new adventure means new characters to spice up the lives of our beloved team. J. Anthony Crane will be playing Chandler 
Groff, who will be guiding the Pogues through their newest adventure, while also dealing with the recent loss of his wife. The Walking Dead's Pollyanna McIntosh will also be joining the cast as Dahlia, who is described to be a revolutionary-like leader and worldly baddie on a plunder who will seemingly clash with the gang. This certainly speaks of trouble, and we're excited to see exactly where Pollyanna could take the character, as it definitely sounds like we're in for a wild ride. Brianna Brown will be playing realtor Hollis Robinson, who is said to be keeping an extra eye on Rafe in hopes of doing some real business. Animal Kingdom's Rigo Sanchez is set to test the team as Lightner, a fierce outdoorsman who won't let them have an easy time this upcoming season. Mia Chalice will be playing Ruthie, who is described to be a wild child with a pretty toxic streak, who will also develop a surprisingly close relationship with Topper, which is also surely meant to cause some drama. With all these new characters added into the mix, it already sounds like the new treasure hunt will be worth our while as we enter this new territory after three seasons. It definitely sounds like we're getting a fresh start. However, that doesn't mean that all will be forgotten as Madison Bailey has spoken all about how the new season will be refreshing while also wrapping up all loose ends. Fans should interpret is not as the end of an era, but we are very much summing up seasons one and two with a button. It can really go anywhere. I think we have a bit of a clean slate. She also has big hopes for the future as she was quoted saying that she wants the team to get a solid win after everything that happened in season three. It sounds like, for her, finding the gold was not necessarily enough compensation for everything they went through, and she hopes that this new challenge will bring even more rewards to the team. According to showrunner Josh Pate, we can also expect to see quite a few flashbacks that can give us a little more insight into exactly what we missed during the 18-month time jump. He also shared that despite it feeling like a very big time jump, it's extremely necessary for the plot as they are planning on taking the gang into an entirely new era. We felt like we needed to migrate them out of school. We think about the first three seasons as a trilogy, and then we're starting over on another sort of trilogy now. Previously, it was said that the showrunners had plans for four or five seasons. However, it now sounds like we could definitely be preparing ourselves for a six season run as long as Netflix is willing to allow the Pogues to keep returning. This is exactly why we're also being introduced to a new treasure hunt and even new characters and villains as the fourth season brings us into an entirely new and more mature stage in the gang's lives. And with maturity comes facing your demons as it's been revealed a big part of the upcoming season is all about the characters dealing with their self-doubt and inner struggles. John B. and Sarah especially will be having a harder time as they have to navigate the trauma of losing their fathers, and it's something that the crew hopes to explore in a very respectful way. Chase Stokes explained how it will most likely fill a huge part of the season, as loss is something that hits in spaces and places that you don't always expect. It really will force them to evaluate everything, where they are, what their purpose is, what their intentions are, and what was the actual value of it. Was it worth it in hindsight? If they could go back and change things, would they? Or do they feel okay with it? It sounds like this new season is well on its way through production as filming started in November, and it might not take too long before everything is wrapped up. Just last month, they revealed that they were getting very close to the finish line in terms of filming as they moved from Wilmington, North Carolina, back to Charleston, South Carolina, which has been their usual filming location for the past three seasons. This could mean that we might expect a late 2024 release date, which would be a dream come true for fans who have been waiting at the edge of their seats ever since last year's dramatic season finale. 